millions of children rely on federally funded school breakfasts and lunches for nutritious meals. But recent rollbacks by the U.S. Department of Agriculture mean that children may receive unhealthy levels of salt and refined grain when they return to school next month. Hi, I'm Nancy Brown, CEO of the American Heart Association. Under the USDA's new so-called flexible nutrition standards for schools, only half of grain products served, such as bread, pasta, and cereal, will have to be whole grain rich. Previously, this requirement applied to all grain servings. The new standards also delay the second sodium reduction target by seven years and eliminate the final target, allowing unhealthy levels of salt in school meals. Association volunteer Genia Conyers worries that this puts her child at risk, so she took her concerns to Congress. When it comes to our children's health, there should be no flexibility. Failing to meet the science-based standards for school meals puts our children in peril. I challenge you to stand with the American Heart Association on this vital issue. Sign our petition online and let's go to work.